I'm meteorologist Ashley DiMartino out here at the Granite Reef Dam and you know it's on the minds of many these days keeping Arizona's water resilient for years to come but a new connection between SRP and CAP is hoping to keep Arizona from running dry. It's a massive project being proposed to connect Arizona's two largest water suppliers, Central Arizona Project and Salt River Project. Upstream, about three miles, uh, the Salt and Verde converge. This is really a great opportunity for the state of Arizona as far as water resiliency um, with so many unknowns in regards to the future of water in the state of Arizona. CAP supplies 80% of Arizonans with water from the Colorado River. The system stretching from Lake Havasu City to the valley and down to Tucson. SRP manages 1,300 miles of canals, getting water from the Salton Verde Rivers. That supplies the water to the valley. An earlier project completed in the 1990s between the two water utilities. CAP currently has infrastructure the CSIF, they're able to deliver water into the, the SRP system. The new pump and pipe system out near Granite Reef Dam is a reverse on that, allowing a two-way system for SRP and CAP to share water. The SCIF facility, which stands for the SRP CAP interconnection facility, is an interconnection facility that would connect uh, SRP's water distribution system with the CAP canal. The SIF would connect to SRP's South Canal system, allowing for water to be pumped up to the Cap Canal nearby. SCIF would be located kind of in that desert area and then the tunnel would go through the mountain there and then that water would be pumped uphill into the CAP canal. This infrastructure would bring flexibility um, from an operational standpoint that would benefit not only um, SRP, but all of Arizona. It's very early in the project, with the NEPO process starting in early 2026, possible construction to start in 2028. Looking to bring the facility online in uh, January of 2030. Right now, it's an estimated cost of $250 million. CAP and SRP are partnering with 13 municipalities to fund the project, which will be a game changer to keep Arizona from running dry. Ashley DiMartino, ABC 15, Arizona.